Hello everyone, and welcome to Lesson 14. Um, one of my, this is going to be like my favorite lesson in a span of lessons because I can't wait to do this one. Um, in particular, we're going to stop with the dialogues for just a little bit. Um, it, we'll, we'll come back to them in the next like couple of videos, maybe, maybe after this one. Uh, I, I, I don't see why not, but this one is, uh, I think I, I should start, and then the next one, and then the last one, and then we can finish up the file of dialogues, and then we can really get into uh, what we're going to do today, which is very basic. But today is what we're going to start on is the graphics panel, the drawing. You've seen me in different projects and different lessons draw things onto the thing, paint, or things onto the, the forum itself, um, paint. But today we're going to do it. And then we're going to add color to it later on. So today we're just what we're going to do is for the forum we could just draw on the forum, but we really don't want to do that. What we really want to do is, um, but for today's purposes, what we really want to do is add a, a panel and then add a buffering. But for today's purposes, it really doesn't matter, and we can just do a paint. Oh, well, that's a forum load. But what we could do is go over to the uh, the lightning button, and then it'll say paint. I know we do that paint. So now what we're going to do is a paint. So if we render it right now, nothing's going to the render to the screen. Absolutely nothing. So with that, what we can do in the code form, which is then going to get fantastic, is we're going to do a uh, graphics graph, or which is for like, I just call it graph, equals e dot graphics. So what this does is the paint arguments has a graphics feature that you can draw things to the painting screen that we're just going to make our own variable for just to just to make it look better and so on and so forth. So next what we're going to do with the graph is we're going to draw some stuff. What we're going to do is draw uh, like I've done before. Let's draw a rectangle. And we're going to do a pen, which this pen is, um, we do pens dot, and then you have all different colors to draw the outline of the rectangle. So if we did new, uh, rectangle, and then we do a, uh, we make the rectangle position. It, so what it, what it would be was the one that we're going to choose. It's going to, it's, it's X and Y where it's going to be located in the forum and how hot, how what, how big and how high it will be going to it's going to be. So we're gonna do 50, 50, 50, 50 So location x fifty, location y fifty, and we're going to make it two hundred by two hundred. So with that, there we go. That is that that is how easy it is to make a square. Look how awesome that is. So with that, um, we can draw almost anything. We can draw ellipses. We can draw. Uh, Images. Uh, we can we can then with with now with this paint we can start drawing all different kinds of cool different graphics. Like um, we can draw pictures now. We can we can make games. We can make applications because if we need to draw them and move them. So um, yeah, with with this um, we can make a couple more. So if we made a couple more and we made this one red blue or not black blue and orange and we made them at location zero zero location 100 and location 100 or oh, that's 1000 location at 150 and then 100 so all of them will you'll see there you go they're all like connected it could be like a 3d kind of cube that we can make um yeah with that we can we we, we could actually technically do that so why not try that so what we can do is now we have the blue and the red the blue and the red would work very well. So if we took uh, the black out, and 
and we took the orange out, only the blue and the red will be there. So what we what we would do is what we would we would do is we would make a point for a line from this to this, which would be its top left, top left, its top right, top right, bottom, bottom, and we'll we'll uh, make a cube. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to draw lines, and what we can do with that, um, well first of all let's make rectangle A equals new rectangle so we can put rectangle a in there because what we need to do is we need to grab it with its two new points and then we can do rectangle B uh, rectangle B and that will be its it will be this control C and with that, we have two wrecks. So now what we're going to do, let's get rid of this and put A and put B. We're going to make lines. So now we're going to make four lines. So lines or line. Well, first of all, we need to do, oh, we have drawing. We can't do a line. Oh, we would have to do points, excuse me. We're going to make a list of points. So there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different points to draw a line. So what we would do is we would do an array of uh, point or points equals new points sub eight. And with that, we could do points sub eight zero equals new point and now what we're going to do is this point was it's going to be a's um, a dot a dot top and or dot left and a dot top and that's the two points the top and the left of erect and if we do this so we're going to do connect these. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to space it a couple times, and and then we're going to do the next two, and then the next two. So the sub ones, zero sub one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So now that we got the one point, now we're going to do um, B, B's left and B's top. And now what we can do is the other, we could do A's right and top and B's right and top. And so far, um, what we could do now is we could always check. So let's let's comment these out. And what we can do is we can do a a graph function called graph dot draw lines, and we could do a pens dot uh, what's uh, green, and then we would do oh we would do draw lines. And what we would do is we would do points. And now let's let's render it. Let's see if we did this correctly. So do you see that the first line worked? The A top A right to B. And that worked. So we're still having that, that cross right there. So we have the top portions of it working. So, but what we, uh, so what, essentially what we can do to make it stop kind of doing all of that, we could do single lines. So we could do lines dot, um, line dot point sub zero point points 
sub 1 and do the same thing for 2 and 3. And that should stop. There we go. See, that would stop because what it's doing is it's connecting finally all the points into one. So now that we have two that's connected, we can do the bottom two and make our 3D rendered 2D cube. So let's do the final two. Uh, okay. Okay, so now that we would do, we would do um, a dot left, and then, but this time instead of top, we would do a dot bottom, and it would be the same thing for b. We'd just leave it with b, and b dot bottom, and there we go. So then, what, what we could do here is kind of copy these first two. And copy them down here too because it would just save us a little more time than typing them out so with that we could do a now it would be a right bottom and this would be B and B so with that we would do the first two would be a left bottom B left bottom to get the, the top the top uh, bottoms and then we do right bottom so now if we draw draw these two and we do uh, four and five and then six and seven we can then make a 3d cube and there we go we have made a 3d cube in a 2d application and with that, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys understood what this, uh, how the rendering works. Because now that we can draw things, it's going to be so much more enjoyable to program things. Because now we can see things other than... We, we could see them before, but um, now drawing them and seeing where you could make a 3D item in a 2D world would be great. So with that, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you could like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next lesson, guys. Have fun and have a great day. And I hope you really enjoyed this because this was my favorite lesson by far.